Ed Walker putting Rosello through his paces here at Werribee this morning. Ed, uh, how's the horse look to your eye? Yeah, I've been delighted with him. I arrived on Monday night and saw him work yesterday morning. Um, he worked nicely, just on his own. Um, and then come out of it well this morning. And he looks a picture. Um, Sammy's done a great job with him, so very happy. He must have also been delighted with his run at Caulfield. He's uh, probably a bit unlucky not to win there. Yeah, very much so. I mean, we were drawn 18, um, and uh, that didn't help. Um, and he would bang up there with the pace all the way around. And, and, and uh, he looked the winner, really, all the way up the straight until, until the line when he just got caught. So pretty unlucky not to win. Looking towards the weekend now on Saturday, you've got him in it for the Lexus, but you need a couple to come out to get a run. Yeah, I mean, uh, Terry Henderson's been through it all, and he's pretty confident that, that we'll get a run, that, that we need three to come out, and, and um, I think there's a good chance that'll happen. Um, and it's, it's optimistic, it's, um, we're, we're a bit out of the handicap, but he's improving and he should come on for that run. Um, it was a really encouraging first start down here, so I think his style of racing really suits down here as well. So. Kieran McAvoy on board Saturday, that uh, must give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, Karen really liked him um, when you rode him at Caulfield, and, and, and I'm delighted that he's getting back on him. Because he's obviously in, in great form, and uh, he's been riding out of his skin recently, um, and it would be good to have, have him in the plate again. If the cards fell your way on Saturday and you got into the Lexus and were, were lucky enough to win, would you consider rolling the dice? It would be a very nice problem to have. Um, I'm not sure I'll be allowed to... Uh, <laughs> to, to say otherwise, but um, we'll see. I mean, it, it will have to depend you know, how, quick, how well he kind of came out of the race, and I don't think it's probably the ideal preparation for such a such a big race. But um, yeah, it's one, one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. So if it ever if that opportunity did come around, we probably would have to take it. He looks to have really adapted well to the Australian style of racing just on the way he ran the other day and, and worked since. Yeah, and we always thought he would, and that's why that's why. Um, OTI snapped him up or bought half him with, with Mr. Bum and they did. You know, he, he's got a lot of gate speed, which is very important down here, as you guys know. And, um, and he then can, can settle when, when, the, when the anchors drop mid-race. And he, he seems to have adapted really well, so happy.